what you've done for me. When I think about Jesus and how he's left me free, I want to dance, 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 dance. Oh, all night, oh, all night. When I think about Jesus and what he's done for me. When I think about Jesus and how he's left me free, I want to clap, 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 clap. Oh, all night. She works in various capacities of this church and she never complains. Praise God. She will know herself when I give this clue. When she came here or when she passed by here, it was just a few people in this church at that time. And she looked and she testified that she was, she stopped by probably really to see what I go on. Because when someone said a little bit of people, they said, What really I go on? But she stayed here and she eventually. God baptized. It was something we prayed about. We prayed about her giving her life to God in this church. And she got baptized. She said she baptized already. But something with her baptism. Praise God. She find out already. Her head down. Praise God. But tonight, today, this afternoon, put your hands together and make welcome. Sister Tash. Sister Natasha Parsons. It's your week this week. She is a hard worker, I tell you. Praise God. God bless you, Sister Tash, from our hearts to your heart. And there's a lady who loved the background. She don't love to come up. I call her one night and she's crying. She you knows them. I really call her to come up here. Praise the Lord Jesus. It's a lady that helped out with the cooking. Praise the Lord Jesus. And she is holding her head down right now. Sister Porter, it's your Sunday this Sunday. Put your hands together for Sister Porter as we spread the love. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. God bless you, Sister Porter, from our hearts to your heart. Please do enjoy the content. What? And I'm hearing that tomorrow is our birthday. What? She gets early birthday gift. God bless you. Wow. So enjoy it. Hug her again, Sister Missionary Crooks. God bless you. Praise the Lord Jesus. Thank you. 
that we have to go all the way back into the Garden of Eden. And the Bible said that God made Adam and Eve and he placed them in the garden and he gave Adam a command. He said you should dress the garden and keep it and you have right and privilege to eat of every tree in the garden except of the one of the knowledge of good and evil. He said you should not eat but then you all know how the story ended and when it came time when they ate and the Lord came the Lord said to the man he said what caused this to happen Adam didn't say I went ahead and obeyed my wife even though you instructed me you commanded me not to but what Adam did he found a way to make an excuse am I talking to the church Adam was the first one who came up with an excuse by saying God it was the woman that you God gave to me and we've seen where the Lord said to the woman he asked her why did she go ahead the woman didn't say it was because I made a decision to eat of the tree but no it was easier for her to say it was a serpent that beguiled me and so it came from Adam and Eve and it has been handed down to us that we don't want to take responsibilities for our actions Esther could have said to Mordecai I can't go to the king it better uno dead than me dead can I talk to somebody but Mordecai said to Esther you don't know if you're in the kingdom for such a time as this it's time for us to stop making excuses when we look at who God is God is a strategic God I heard sister Tosh as she testified this morning she said some of you might have missed how awesome God is when you think about a rough four compare to a brado one bigger thicker and more padded one have more protection against impact than one can I talk to somebody and so the God that we serve irrespective of if your daddy or your sister they carry care of one mechanic and get it check up make the aisle I work good in the rap for check the engine check every single part irrespective of what they would have done the Lord knew that your hearts are prior can I talk to somebody? Can I talk to somebody? Y'all don't know that your worship and your prayers is not just for you. Your worship and your prayers is for your mama. It's for your daddy. It's for your co-worker. Can I talk to somebody? Stop making excuses. She could have kept her mouth quiet. But because she she spoke it into the atmosphere. It had to come to pass. She asked for protection for the family. And so, logically, the rap four had to go and could drive. But God, how are we as stepping in? and twisting things out of logical and taking it into the supernatural God let the car shut down so she could not get in the Prado stop making excuses open your mouth and give God glory no devil can block you no devil can stop you if God be for us I want to tell me who Pause it in a moment 
in the twinkle of an eye and the last trump for the dead in Christ shall rise first Lord God Almighty the party of a hot man because the dead of a rise first so come out brother Abraham come out brother Isaac come out brother Jacob come out brother David come out brother Job come out brother Shadrach Meshach and Abednego the dead in Christ shall rise first but I love what the Bible says it said dead we that are alive are revealed. So you are one. Every single one of you who baptized in the name of Jesus. So my book, get ready. Brown, get ready. Samuel, get ready. Harden, get ready. Then we which are alive and remain shall be part of. God, you turn a mess into a message, how the messenger arrived. Committed to the journey, so me now go backslide. Looking through the spirit and a physical eyes. Who to God me testify. Told me at the work of God and the boss. My whole life, he endured. Take me from the mood and put